graph theory. In this video, we're going to talk about some family of graphs. This is the second part. Here we're going to talk about bipartite graphs, complete bipartite graphs, Peterson graph, and generalized Peterson graphs. Now, before we continue, please subscribe, click the bell, like, share, and put your nice comments below. Definition. A bipartite graph is a simple graph whose vertices can be divided into two disjoint subsets, S and T, such that each H, U, V, vertex U is element of S, and vertex V is element of T, and no vertices in the same set are adjacent. For example, this graph, and these are the vertices, and these are the edges. Now this graph can be redrawn like this, and you see that the vertices can be partitioned into two subsets, S on the left and T on the right. And each edge has an N in S and another N in T. So this graph is a bipartite graph. Another example, here are the vertices and here are the edges. And we can redraw this graph like this. So we have uh, two vertices on the left and three vertices on the right. And each vertex on the left is adjacent to each vertex on the right. Now this is another example of a special bipartite graph called a complete bipartite graph. A complete bipartite graph denoted by KMN is a simple graph whose vertices can be divided into two disjoint subsets, S of M vertices and T of N vertices, so that every vertex in S is adjacent to every vertex in T, and no vertices in the same set are adjacent. For example, look at this graph. Here are the vertices, and here are the edges. So this is the star graph S6. Now we can redraw this graph like this. One vertex on the left and the other vertex is on the right. The vertex V1 on the left is adjacent to each vertex on the right. So this is the complete bipartite graph K15. This is the complete bipartite graph K12. Here we have one vertex on the left and two vertices on the right. And the vertex on the left is adjacent to each vertex on the right. This is the complete bipartite graph K13. So we have one vertex on the left and three vertices on the right. This is our example before K23. V1 on the left is adjacent to each of the vertices on the right. And V2 on the left is adjacent to each vertices on the right. This is the complete bipartite graph K32, which is actually isomorphic to K23. Now we're going to talk about uh, isomorphic in another video. This is the complete bipartite graph K33. And each vertex on the left is adjacent to each vertex on the right. And no vertices in the same subset are adjacent. A generalized Peterson graph denoted by P and K, where 3 is at most n, and k is less than n over 2. It's a simple graph consisting of an n-cycle 
Cm, which is equal to A0, A1, and so on, An minus 1, A0. N vertices, B0, B1, and so on, Bn minus 1. All are not in Cm, and having edges Ai, Bi, and Bi, Bi plus K, where I plus K is read as modulo N. The Peterson graph, or also called the classical Peterson graph, is P52. Now we're going to take a look at the generalized Peterson graph P31. This is the cycle C3. And here are the B vertices, B0, B1, and B2. These are the AB edges. And these are the BB edges. Next, the generalized Peterson graph P41. Here is the cycle C4. Consisting of four vertices. These are the B vertices. There are four of them B0, B1, B2, and B3. These are the AB edges. Now, here because K is 1. So B0 is adjacent to B1, B1 is adjacent to B2, B2 is adjacent to B3, and B3 is adjacent to B0. Next is P51. Here is the C5. Here are the B vertices. Here are the AB edges. And here are the BB edges. B0, B1. B1, B2, B2, B3, B3, B4, and B4, go back to B0. The next one is the Peterson graph P52. So here are the five A vertices. The cycle C5. The B vertices. The AB edges. Now the BB edges. Now because K is 2, so B0 and B2 are adjacent. B1 and B3 are adjacent. B2 and B4 are adjacent. B3 and B5, modulo 5, that is B0, are adjacent. B4 and B6, modulo 5, that is B1, are adjacent. Now K is actually less than N over 2. In this case, K is at most 2. But just to give you an idea, we are going to see K is 3 now. So here we have the cycle C5 and the B vertices. And these are the AB edges. Now because K is 3, so B0 and B3 are adjacent. B1 and B4 are adjacent. B2 and B0 are adjacent. B3 and B1 are adjacent. And B4 and B2 are adjacent. We see that P53 is exactly the same as P52. It is the classical Peterson graph. Next, we're going to construct P61. The cycle C6 and the B vertices. The AB edges as usual. And the BB edges is just from one B to the next B. So this is P61. Next, we'll construct P62. The cycle and B vertices. The AB edges. K 
K is 2, so here are the BB edges. B0 and B2, B1 and B3, B2 and B4, B3 and B5, B4 and B6 modulo 6, that is B0, and B5 and B1. Finally, we construct P73. The cycle B7 and the B vertices, B, A, B edges. Now B0 and B3, B1 and B4, B2 and B5, B3 and B6, B4 and B0, B5 and B1, and B6 and B2.